What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Let's FN Code. Today we're going to be looking at how to speed up your Netlify deployments uh, at least by half with the Netlify CLI. Why would you want to do this? Well, sometimes I don't want to uh, commit stuff into Git history and I just want to deploy preview to share with somebody on my team. Um, and sometimes, you know, YOLO, you only live once, might as well deploy quickly. Um, not that the Netlify build bot is too slow, but it is uh, nice to just pipe up uh, stuff for deploy previews and sometimes just to your live site from your local machine. So we'll walk through that in this video. So I just relaunched my personal site uh, using Gatsby. Of course, it's hosted on Netlify. Let's, uh, I'm gonna show everybody real quick how to connect the Netlify CLI to your site and how that can actually speed up deployments. So let's do it. So I've already connected my site to Netlify. Uh, you know, you connect with GitHub and then boom, you're off to the races. Uh, I have the site locally on my computer as well. Um, and I also have the Netlify CLI installed. So if I run the Netlify command, uh, it will give me all the wonderful commands that we can run. Um, if you don't have that, you just run npm install netlify-cli-g, and that will install it lo uh, locally on your machine uh, and globally everywhere. And then uh, run netlify login, and that will actually log you into your Netlify account. Cool. So I'm inside of my current working directory. Um, I could I could start the Gatsby site, but what I want to do actually, uh, if we try to run any Netlify command that does something to our site, so let's try to actually deploy this. For example, it's going to yell at me and say, "Uh, uh, uh you didn't say the magic word." So what we need to do is actually link this to an existing site. So it's prompting me here to do that. Uh, so I can do that. Um, that's one way to do it. The other way is just running the Netlify link command. So the Netlify link command will give us the same prompt. How do I want to link this site? Uh, so if my site's already in Netlify, do I want to link this by the current Git remote, the site uh, name, or the site ID? Current Git remote is uh, on GitHub, uh, davidwells slash davidwells.io. Uh, so I'm actually going to use that. Uh, if you do want to use the ID of your site, uh, you can go into your site and grab the API ID, uh, but I'm actually just gonna use the Git remote. So let's run that if I link one more time and we are going to go ahead and use the Git remote. It is going to uh, look up uh, all of our sites in Netlify, grab the site that matches our Git remote. It looks like I have two here actually because my legacy site had the same Git remote. So I'm actually gonna choose the new one and there we go. So now my site is linked uh, and now I can run Netlify commands such as Netlify open, which will pop me open into the Netlify admin UI. Very handy for when you're trying to just change your setting inside of Netlify. Uh, or I could run the Netlify open site command, which will uh, obviously open up my site. So let's make a change to the site and uh, actually deploy that up with the CLI. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and start my site locally. I can run uh, just the normally Gatsby develop or I could run Netlify dev. I'm just gonna run the uh, Gatsby develop right now. So it's gonna start my site locally. This will start on localhost 8000. Fantastic. So how about we just add some exclamation points for uh, the sake of this demo. All right, so I have my site open locally here, and what we're gonna do is add some exclamation points to our um, sidebar component. And then we'll just go ahead and deploy that up. And if you're wondering why I am using Atom, it's because Dreamweaver doesn't work on this computer. Uh, I know all the cool kids are using VS Code, but you know, I'm just not one of the cool kids. So let's go ahead and add some exclamation points here. Cool. So now this site is like super, super enthusiastic. I'm a full stack serverless developer. Let's actually uh, go ahead and deploy this up. So to do that, I'm gonna stop my site uh, and then just run the build command. So this is, uh, instead of Netlify running the build on your behalf on a git commit, um, we're just running it locally on our machine. 
when we run the Gatsby build locally on a machine, it takes about, I'd say 30 seconds or so. When we run it in the build bot, it takes a little bit longer because it has to install all of the dependencies inside of Netlify. Cool, so our site's built, our site map is built. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and run the Netlify deploy command. And that is going to pipe up the changes that I've made to a preview URL. So after it's done hashing all of these files, It's gonna take a while. Interesting, this will be an interesting experiment to see which is <laughs> which is actually faster. And this might be because I haven't deployed this site locally before. So we'll also try that. All right, so our build is done. Uh, I'm gonna put the final uh, time, uh, I gotta watch the video to get that. But um, we can see if we go look at our site, we have our, our uh, preview URL live. Uh, I have no idea why we just piped up uh, 2,816 files. This is like a 200 page site. So I don't know if that's a Gatsby thing or what. Yeah, I'm not sure what, uh, where all those files are coming from. We're gonna try another deploy here uh, just to see if that initial deploy was just slow as molasses or if all of them are. So let's actually, uh, so we, we've deployed our site. This is to the draft URL. What we want though is to like deploy this to the live site, right? So to do that, uh, all we need to do is give it a, a dash P for production or dash dash prod. And that will do the exact same thing. Remember to run your build before you do this. Uh, otherwise you could pipe up a broken um, site uh, and make sure everything's working locally. But let me go ahead and run this again and we shall see uh, if the diffing is the same. So it looks like, yeah, we just hashed the same amount of files and we, yeah, okay. So the, the build and all the unique hashes, um, yeah, it was the initial deploy. So, so what we can see now is like my live site is, you know, that took two seconds to actually get that live. So it depends on what type of build tool you're using and like what, how the output files actually build. Um, Gatsby is building out to these hashes. So I guess that initial deploy was um, like the CDN basically had none of that. So that's why it took so uh, about two minutes to, to do that first deploy. Um, let's try that one more time. I'm gonna change the sidebar again. And then we'll, we'll put a question mark because like, are we? What is a full stack developer? What What is this? Let me run the build one more time. Let me put a time. So if you put time in front of a command, it'll give you the time of how long it takes to build. And then we'll run the deploy one more time. Uh, hopefully we're not hashing every single file um, for this. I know when I'm uh, uploading a like create react app site, I mean, it's just like instantaneous because there's not as much stuff we're piping up. My site again has about 250 pages or so. Cool, so that built took 23 seconds. Uh, let's actually run the deploy one more time. Uh, so Netlify deploy dash P and let's see if, so it just hash the file. So it looks like, yeah, so it looks like it's only, uh, the diff there is only 234 files. So that was the initial deploy that took uh, that time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that one more time. I forgot to time this with the time command, just to see what this looks like. If we if we look inside of uh, Netlify, we can see the um, site deployment actually happening, and it'll say a manual deploy. There's no deploy message with these. You can um, add one though. So now it's done. Let me do this one more time. I'm going to change and build again. We'll add two question marks. Let me go ahead and run the build, npm run build, and then deploy with the time, and we'll see we'll see this work. Uh, after I do that, I'm gonna run, uh, I'm gonna git commit this up to GitHub, and we'll see how long that takes, uh, just to give you kind of a comparison. Um, so if you're trying to uh, share something pretty quickly uh, with the preview URL, uh, deploying with the CLI can actually be much faster uh, after that initial deployment, of course. 
Um, cool. So let's run the Netlify deploy time Netlify deploy dash p, and we'll go ahead and pipe that up. Just looks like the files are expanding each time I run my build. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if there's a cache, uh, a Gatsby cache that's being um, read or something. That is very strange. But the deployment is in process. What we can see, uh, if we look here, uh, we're processing. So Netlify is post-processing right now. Distributing this to the global CDN. And we're, <laughs> come on, what the heck? There we go, and we're live. So we're live. Um, so apparently that took four seconds. Um, seemed like longer than that, so that's odd. And there we go. So am I a full stack developer? Who knows? Um, hopefully this was uh, uh, helpful. Um, let me actually, it, I'm gonna go to my site and we're gonna actually uh, just commit this up real quick. So let's go ahead and just say add marks. Commit that up, push it to master, because YOLO. Um, if you do want to build a production draft URL, you want to push that to a branch. Um, this will, uh, if we go back into Netlify, we'll kick off a uh, deployment. Um, there we go. So we can see that now the site is building. Uh, it's going to download from the ca uh, cache. So the first time you run a build anywhere, um, there's no cache. Uh, Gatsby uh, apparently uses a cache. Um, so we don't have all the files. Um, and then it'll also install all of the dependencies. Uh, we Netlify caches the dependencies for subsequent builds, so that's faster. Um, but we still, uh, oh, and this is a new feature. We can cancel deployments now, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, so this should take about two minutes. And it looks like, yeah, so uh, these git commits. Uh, the build takes about two minutes, so I have to wait for the Netlify site to, you know, spin up or the build bot to spin up, build the site. Takes about two minutes, not the end of the world, uh, especially, you know, because this is going through Git, all the code reviews and what have you, hopefully with your site or app. Um, but if you do need to share something uh, really quickly in a uh, preview URL, you can run the Netlify deploy command locally. That will pipe things up. So this looks like it's about half the time, um, or about 40 seconds, to actually deploy something to this, in this case, a live URL. It should have been you know, a preview URL. Um, but yeah, so I uh, hope that helps. Using the Netlify CLI can definitely speed up your workflow. I use it all the time, uh, specifically for this, when I wanna share some demo or a preview of like a snapshot in time of uh, a specific code change. It's also very handy when like, I don't wanna commit everything to Git uh, to share that preview URL. And this is a way that you can kind of get around that where I just wanna deploy it, share it with the team. Uh, in this case, it's my personal site. So the team of one, I uh, share it with myself and say, good job, David, your CSS is on, on fleek. Um, but other than that, um, yeah. So that's the Netlify CLI deploy flow. I uh, hope this helps um, yeah, speed up your, your workflow.